What's up guys? So uh, as we all know, The Arrowverse is a huge DC TV universe spawning a bunch of different shows, each show holding a plethora of characters and most of those characters, or at least the main ones, are mostly DC characters from the comics, so obviously they've introduced a lot of DC characters, but there are still a bunch of DC characters who have yet to be introduced and in my opinion will most likely never be introduced till the end of the Arrowverse, and a, lot, a bunch of those characters are actually really large DC characters who should appear in every DC universe, so with that in mind I wanted to go over the top 5 DC characters who will probably never appear in the Arrowverse, so starting this list with number 5. Number five is Shazam. So first of all, when I on this list, when I say character, I mean that character and their universe. So for Shazam, I don't think the Marvel family or like Black Adam or any of his, his villains that have not yet appeared, other than the one singular villain that has appeared, which I will mention in a little bit, I don't think any of them will ever appear because Shazam is getting a movie in 2019, which is already filming, and if if it's successful, we'll get a uh, a uh, a sequel, which means the DC the DC EU the Warner Brothers execs will would probably make Shazam off limits for the Arrowverse which is the case for all, everything on this list everything on this list is off limits because of the DCEU but some of them are less off limits than others the reason I think Shazam is more possible than the other four is because of the addition of Zari in Legends of Tomorrow season 3 because of her connection to Shazam in the comics in the comics Zari or Adriana Tomas who she is based off her in the show her name is Zari Adriana Tomas and in the comics it's just Adri Adriana Thomas, I think it's pronounced Adriana, I don't really know, but in the comics she is actually married to Black Adam and she is, she is named Isis, so um, in the comics she is a villain of Shazam and married to Shazam's mortal enemy, so Zari being in the, in the Arrowverse and on Legend of Tomorrow opens up the door to Black Adam and that in turn opens up the door to Shazam, so I think even though he's not likely going to appear, he is still more likely than 4, 3, 2, and 1 on this list. So, number four is Aquaman. Just like Shazam, Aquaman is off limits because of a movie that is coming up in December 2018, which is coming up uh, earlier than Shazam's movie. And this movie, along with his appearance in Justice League and his cameo in Batman vs Superman, really makes him off limits for the Arrowverse. And he hasn't been referenced at all in the Arrowverse, except for one singular... Um, a deleted scene in the pilot episode of The Flash where they mentioned that a guy talking to fish is at the same place that I forgot the name of the place, but it's where Aquaman really operates in on land. Usually, also Atlantis has been referenced a couple times, but nothing specifically to Aquaman that hasn't been deleted, so nothing confirming him, and no other Aquaman villains have appeared. The only thing, the only reason I think he's not completely off limits is because unlike the number three, two, one, and even five slots, he has appeared in a recent live-action TV show in Smallville. He appeared on Smallville. He was a recurring character for a couple of seasons, so I think because of that, like, Shazam has never appeared in a, com in a TV show. Three, I'd say right now, number three, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but he hasn't appeared in a TV show, in a live-action TV show since the 60s. Number two hasn't appeared in a live-action TV show since the 70s. And number one, I don't think has ever appeared in a live-action TV show. So number four has the is the only one, Aquaman, is the only one who has actually appeared in a live action TV show, which I think may, it may, makes it at least possible for him to appear in the Arrowverse. But at this point, it's probably just not going to happen because of his movie and the fact that he's never been referenced. So nothing opens up the door to his character. Number three is a character who you guys probably expected to be higher on the list, and that is Batman. So Batman is at number three because, first of all, he's off limits because of the DCEU. He's already appeared in two or three movies so far. He's going to appear in future movies. Maybe Ben Affleck's going to play him. We don't actually know yet, but he is definitely off, off limits because of the movies. The reason, however, I think he might appear is actually a bunch of reasons, and one is that um, Bruce Wayne has been mentioned. He's been name-dropped, so we already know Bruce Wayne exists, and Batman has, has been referenced a plethora of times, a bunch of times. So I guess that opens up the door a little bit, but I think that doesn't really mean anything because Warner Brothers allows them to reference him, which just it doesn't mean anything because they don't they still don't allow him to use him. Now the thing that actually might actually it might like that coupled with Batwoman appearing in the next crossover definitely opens up the door to Batman appearing, but I think Warner Brothers is allowing them to use Batwoman, allowing them to reference him, but I don't think he will actually appear. 
And even though the door has been opened up more for Batman than it does for any other character on this list because of the references and the fact that Batwoman is showing up later in this crossover, I think Warner Brothers is a lot more strict on Batman because he is their biggest character in terms of movies as of right now. So I think they're a little strict on that, more so than Aquaman and Shazam. But number two and one, I think, are a little bit more off limits because they're really strict on those characters, in my opinion, and the door has not been opened for either of them. So moving on to number two. So number two is Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman is off limits obviously because of the DCEU along with everybody else on this list. But what makes Wonder Woman different is that Wonder Woman is really the face of the DCEU right now. They're, it's really their only successful movie if you want to call it that. It's their most profitable movie and their most highly, it's their highly highest rated movie is Wonder Woman. So there are a lot of, they're putting a lot of stock into Wonder Woman right now. So I think she is definitely very off limits for the Arrowverse. Also, like I said earlier, she has not been referenced at all. People can say that the fact that Themyscira was actually appeared is a reference to her and it is, but it doesn't confirm she exists. It does open up the door to her a little bit, but uh, it doesn't confirm that she exists, exists. Maybe her ancestors exist, Themyscira exists. But Wonder Woman, we don't, that's not confirmed at all. So I think the door is clo a lot more closed for her than it is for Batman, Aquaman, or Shazam. Because right now in the DCEU, she is the face of that universe. So Warner Brothers, like the idiots they are, don't want people to confuse uh, an Arrowverse version or a TV version with the the movie version. Especially for Wonder Woman, which is, a, just a, it's a, in general, it's a stupid thing to say. Because TV versions and movie versions, I don't think a lot of people will confuse the two. But either way, Wonder Woman, in my opinion, is a lot more off-limits than Batman, Aquaman, or Shazam. And number one is Green Lantern, and this is really the entire Green Lantern corpse. There's no specific Green Lantern that I think is more off-limits than others. The entire corpse is off-limits because Green Lantern is not only off-limits for the Arrowverse because DC kind of has plans for them in the future of the DCEU, but also... DC in general, not even the TV shows, but also the movies, is also kind of afraid to use him or the entire corpse in the movies and in general because of the flop 2011 movie, which just, they lost money on that movie, and it really, like, tainted the name of Green Lantern for a while, and in my opinion, that doesn't really make sense. It's been a while. It's been, like, what, seven years since then, and the DCEU is just a fresh new thing. They, they can introduce Green Lantern into this, but it seems like DC in general and Warner Brothers is kind of afraid to use Green Lantern, not only in the TV show, but also obviously in the movies. So if they're, if, if, if they're really afraid to use them in the movies, there's absolutely no chance that they're ever going to appear in the Arrowverse. Also, I think just the concept in general will be a little too expensive for TV, unless if they just stick to uh, Earth and never actually go out to space. With the Green Lantern Corps. Also, Green Lantern has never really been directly mentioned. There was one Easter egg that kind of confirms it, but not really. It's when uh, Oliver was in Coast City in the flashbacks, and there's like a there's a, a jacket, a test pilot jacket that says Jordan on it, which is definitely an, it's definitely an Easter egg to Hal Jordan, but it still does not confirm anything. Also, that an, a test pilot has gone missing from Ferris Air. It's a bunch of references, but nothing has been directly mentioned towards a character named Hal Jordan or a character named Jon Stewart or any of the guys or Green Lantern. So the door has not been opened in that respect. And DC in general is afraid of using the Green Lantern characters in any of their live action media. So that is the list. If you think I left out any characters that are like less likely to appear than any of the characters on this list, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.